Hello, in this uh, video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use JavaScript loop uh, to uh, create a table. Let's look at the table tag and uh, table structure first. Let me show you how does it look. Uh, so if you look at this, it's a table with two rows and each row uh, consists of one uh, column, right? Uh, let's look at the code. So we start with the table tag and then we have a TR that is a container that contains one too many columns that is created by TD tag. Of course, I can repeat the same pattern as many times as I want. Uh, and uh, I just can copy paste this and create multiple rows with the same amount of column in each. So our goal is to create the same thing using JavaScript. Let's go ahead and start our JavaScript first. Well, in order to uh, create this easier, uh, we required two loops, right? Uh, so the very first thing is I will create a variable, uh, I'll call it table. Uh, which uh, make it initialize it to an empty string. The very first loop is going to be uh, uh, the one that actually creates the TR only. So it open and close TR in the very first loop. So let's go ahead and create this. I'll call it equals zero, and uh, I'll actually call it R equals zero, and then R is less than rows uh, and uh, R plus plus right so of course I have to create a variable called rows which contains the number of rows that I want in this case is two right um, so right here what I would do is I will go ahead and append the tr tag to the table and I will close this as well right so open and close tr as we know the TD has to go between the TR open and close, right? So I go between these two and I simply start my second loop. So in this case, I will go var C is equal zero and C is less than columns and C plus plus, right? So this is the second loop. Of course, I'm going to create the columns uh, variable as well which holds three because I have three columns here right okay right in here I just start appending the TD tag and of course I'm going to put the value of C append the value so I can get one two three and so on right uh, let me just go ahead okay okay here you go so I have appended as many as I want, then it comes out and I simply put a TR there, right? Now, uh, if I want this to start from one instead of zero, then I can simply go ahead and uh, make it start from one and then make it less than equal columns, right? Now that I'm done with this loop, my, error, my, uh, my table should be ready by now. So I can simply go ahead and print it anywhere I want, right? So let me go ahead and do this, document the right, I open the table tag, that's what I need, right? And then I will append the table variable to this. And finally, I have to close the table tag, right? Let's go ahead, run this, see how it looks, right? Here you go. So I just refresh the page. This is what I get, right? Of course, if I go here and I put border equal one, I should get the border as, well, same thing. This is the static version and this is a dynamic version. So I can simply go ahead, add this one to four and five if I need, or 10, doesn't really matter. It just dynamically create the table for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.